Hey, in this video you're going to learn exactly why you should eat some peanuts before every single exam that you do. But before that, let me quickly tell you an update on the challenges that we've been doing together. I'm on day 8 of the NoFap challenge. I'm absolutely loving it. I wake up each morning without that grogginess feeling which I used to get and I'm partly blaming that to NoFap and partly blaming that to drinking more water. And secondly, I'm on day three of meditation, which means that I'm meditating for three minutes, which I know so is not a long time, but I'm working up to meditating 30 minutes for 30 days in a row. And the longest I've ever made it meditated for is five minutes, so I'm nearly there, and I'm excited to break that goal. But anyway, why should you eat nuts before an exam? Well, the thing is, your willpower gets depleted the more things that you do that strain it. For example, making a hard decision or tackling a problem that's difficult, like an exam. And that willpower can be refueled by getting food, especially slow-burning food like nuts and fruit and non-sugary products. Sugary products like uh, orange juice or something like that will give you a quick boost, but it'll quickly crash down, dropping your willpower down again. Whereas slow, uh, slow-releasing energy foods like nuts is perfect, and it's exactly what you want to do. Let me tell you quickly about an experiment that proved this. What they did was they had two groups of people and they gave one group a really nice uh, sugary chocolatey drink and another group the uh, the same drink just without the chocolate but they added more fat into that drink and they made them both made the both both two groups drink the different drinks and then they were put into a different test that tested their willpower now this test was an impossible challenge that couldn't actually be completed so what they did was they tested how long it took for each group to give up and what they found really surprised them you see, both groups of people took exactly the same length of time to give up. At first, they thought this was a failure. The experiment was a failure. They were expecting the nice chocolatey drink to make people have more willpower. But they realized that the results were exactly the same. It was because it didn't matter what the other people were drinking. What mattered was the calories that they were consuming. And those calories were exactly the same. So, if you're feeling completely down, then just eat some food and it will increase your willpower. If you're struggling to do some homework, then eat some food. If you're trying to quit smoking, then don't do that the same time that you're starting a diet. If you're about to go on a holiday, make sure you eat so that you don't argue with the people on the holiday. This is really important for you to understand. You must eat to fuel your, bio to fuel your body in more than just one way. You see, eating fuels your body, it gives you more energy, but it also fuels your mind by giving you more willpower. That's it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want more. But that's not the end. I've come up with 13 habits that you can do every single day that will improve your life. And what's best, all of these habits take 10 minutes or less, and you won't believe what number 11 is. Some of them, yeah, they're quite expected, but number 11, I promise you that you won't guess that. So if you want to get those 13 habits that improve your life every single day, then click the first link in the description or the first link in the comments. But that's it from me, guys. Remember, like and subscribe. But I'll see you tomorrow.